When a business produces any kind of product, plants included, many of these processes are not necessarily environmentally friendly. High energy used to heat seedlings, the use of chemical pesticides and herbicides, plus water runoff that could include synthetic fertilizers into nearby creeks and streams, all work hand in hand to pollute the environment. Even garden centers are guilty of these practices. Well, in 1999, we decided to change that. We began an ambitious program to tackle all three of these areas, energy, pollution, and chemical use. In 2015, we began the installation of three large sets of solar panels on the roofs of our largest buildings. These include our main garden center store, our production barn, and the owl barn. The solar panels will help supplement the single phase portion of our electricity use. During the day, solar energy is consumed on the property with an excess returning to the grid. Not only does solar power save money, but in addition, the power not used from the grid reduces the use of fossil fuels, which in Ohio is mainly coal. Adjacent to the nursery is Van Heining Run, which flows right through the property. It is full of pollutants such as coliform, chlorides, and dissolved salts, which is detrimental to plant health and growth. In 1999, a one-acre collection pond was constructed that depends on rainfall and recycled irrigation water to fill it. This water quality is infinitely better than Van Heining Run as it is collected off the land, paved areas, greenhouses, and building roofs as no water leaves the property, resulting in less flooding downstream and no escape of the irrigation water containing some leachates of fertilizer. In addition, starting in 2011, our largest greenhouses were outfitted with ebb and flow benches in which plants are set on tables that fill from the bottom and then emptied for use again. The water, which may contain fertilizer, is then drained to an underground tank to be used over and over again. These benches are quite expensive, but in the long run will cut down on disease problems caused by overhead watering, reduce labor costs because of hand watering, and save water from polluting nearby bodies of water. Our newest endeavor was to cut down on chemical use in the way of both fungicides and pesticides. In fact, our chemical pesticide use is nearly non-existent at this point. This has been achieved with the help of beneficial insects. These tiny insects are used to attack and kill the most harmful insects in the greenhouse environment, including thrips, whitefly, spider mites, and aphids. They are applied in many ways, including a spraying method, sachets that include these beneficial bugs, sticky traps, and the placement of bottles throughout the greenhouses. As far as fungicides, something as simple as common ice melter has worked wonders. Calcium chloride, which is something you would apply to your driveways during a winter storm, is considered an organic product by the EPA and is used to control grape mold, also known as botrytis, and powdery mildew. This has been tested and researched at the Ohio State University Agricultural Research and Development Center in Worcester, Ohio. The result is that our plants have no chemical residue and are safe for customers to handle and eliminate any risk of applying harmful chemicals by our applicators. In addition, our potting mix, made in Amish country, Ohio, also contains a product called Actino Iron, which contains Streptocarpus bacteria that fends off root pathogens that may attack plants. Even with all of that, we are not done yet. We hope in the next few years to augment our three-phase electric supply with solar panels and battery storage in order to run the large irrigation pumps for three hours every morning during the growing season. With this added feature, the production of our plants will truly be sustainable and environmentally friendly.